Okay, so we got the official cast members announced for the live action One Piece Netflix series. This is something that has been announced back in September, I believe, with an interesting um, response from <laughs> online and everywhere. The fandom is almost split on it from what I've noticed. There's people that are like really gung-ho about it and think it'll be really good. And then everybody else who's, uh, you know, watched every other live action anime series and has uh, doubts. But we got the official casting for the One Piece live action Netflix anime series. That is a mouthful. And today we're gonna go over it. We're gonna check out the cast members. We're gonna see everything that they announced. There's a little video that we're gonna watch together and just kind of discuss and go over everything involving this One Piece live action Netflix series. But before we get into all that, I want to ask you guys a question. What do you think of live action anime series from what you have seen in the past to what is being announced with all these crazy new series that are going to come out in the next few years? What are your thoughts on live action anime series in general, whether it be movie series, whatever? Just let me know down in the comment section. I really appreciate it. So, like I said, we got the casting for the live action One Piece Netflix series. They announced this today on Twitter, all over the place. We got the East Blue crew. So we got casting for Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, and Sanji. And honestly, from what I have noticed, just my initial thoughts from looking at them based off what the characters of One Piece look like, I honestly am kind of into this casting. Now, they released a video with this where it kind of shows all of them and them talking about being casted for this show. And I wanted to watch it together with you guys just so you can you know check it out for yourselves if you haven't watched yet but we're gonna go ahead and watch this together sort of a reaction but we're gonna talk about more things after this video too I think he is gonna be a fantastic Luffy just right off the bat I, honestly all of them are I, I love this I am so beyond excited to be playing Nami in this Emily does look a lot like Nami, Nami, actually, so that's a really good casting. Also, shout out to and also, shout out, that is a dope shirt. I'm yeah. super jealous. I want that shirt really bad. <laughs> Oda specifically made those shirts for them. How sick is that? I can't wait to become the Pirates King. Welcome to the Straw Hats. Only on Netflix, so yeah. That is the video that they put out today just based on the casting, them kind of introducing themselves to the fandom. And I wanna ask you guys another question based off you know, just what we have here. Let me know what you think of the casting down in the comment sections also. Do you like the way that they appear to be based off what we know the Straw Hats to look like? I, like I said, I think honestly, legitimately, that's a pretty good casting, it's solid. I love how they're doing this introduction to them. They know how big of a deal this is. If you're going to make a live action One Piece series, that is a massive deal. This is, you're talking about the second best selling comic series of all time. This is not your run of the mill anime that they're deciding to make a live action series for. This is one of the largest franchises on the world that they are deciding to do this for. So their decision to do this was not thought of lightly. In fact, Oda himself has been a major player in the decision making the groundwork for this live action series and he even put out a quote today with the announcements of the casting for the new straw hat crew that i wanted to read for you guys right here on the video quote from Oda: we've been working with netflix and tomorrow studios on the massive project that is the hollywood live action series adaptation of one piece how many years has it been since it was announced right i know i know but rest assured, we've been making steady progress all along. It's not easy when you're working with people from different cultures, but it's precisely that process that can yield something special. For now, we're able to announce the main cast. Rather, we need to hurry and announce it or else it will be leaked, apparently. Hilarious, LOL. Their face, the size of their mouths and their hands, their aura, and the way that they carry themselves, their voice and their acting skills, their height, the balance amongst the Straw Hat crew, etc. We decided on this cast after numerous discussions involving people around the world. These people are the people who will be our Straw Hat Pirates. It'll take a bit more time to get this show done, but we'll continue to do our best to deliver a show that we're confident will be enjoyed by everyone around the world. Look forward to more updates in the future. So that was a quote from Oda himself, the author of One Piece. So the fact that him saying this and putting this quote out, us getting the official announcement for the crewmates, the cast members, I think it's a pretty good sign that he knows how big of a deal this is and he is putting every, you know, everything that he can into this 
whilst also riding One Piece to make sure that this is going to be something that the massive fandom of One Piece is going to enjoy. But just to kind of go over the crew again, we watched the video and I wanted to just kind of touch base on all of them again, a little bit each one and just kind of say my thoughts on each one. First off, Inaki, I think he, well, first off, it's a good look. He looks like Luffy. Obviously a cartoon in One Piece is a very cartoonish animated series, but if you're going to do a live action series, I think Anaki looks and sounds kind of like that childish energy that Luffy has. I think it's a good fit. I think Anaki will be a perfect Luffy. He will bring that energy, that charisma, in that just hype that we all love about Luffy. I think he's gonna do a pretty good job. McKinnon for Zoro, I saw him and I was like, yep, that's Zoro. And he didn't even say anything yet. And I was like, that's Zoro. This guy has that Zoro vibe, everything about him. I think it's gonna be a really good casting specifically for Zoro. He's gonna be able to bring out that energy that we all love from the first mate. Zoro himself. I think this is going to be a good casting. I'm really into this. Emily for Nami. She has that look. She looks like Nami. Even her hair right now is very similar. So I think Emily's going to do a very fantastic job at her role as Nami, the cat burglar. We'll see how the fandom reacts to this. I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of toxicity with this, but I could be wrong. We will see. But I, right now, I think she's going to be a good Nami. My number one, like, right now vibe with the best cast right now is the jacob for usopp he looks like usopp he's got this like goofy vibe to him this goofy feel and we all know usopp's a very goofy silly character he brings out the joy and the charisma of the straw hats with him and luffy's banter him you know just that that goofy cartoonish silly vibe that they bring to the straw hat between island scenes the goofing around eating partying i think Jacob as a casting for Usopp was a excellent choice. And out of all of them, I think he is my favorite, like just one for one, him being Usopp. I think that's a very good cast. And then Skylar as Sanji. I, I think out of all of them, this one was my least favorite, just based on like the look and the feel of them. I'll, I'll, obviously when they're going to be in full, you know, dress and makeup and everything, things are going to look different. It's going to feel different. They're going to be acting. There's going to be CGI. There's going to be a whole script. So right now, this is everything that I'm saying is just based off like first initial looks. And that's what Oda himself even said he was looking for in his note to the fans, you know, everything about them from like the way that their mouths looked, which was kind of silly. Casting for such a big series like One Piece, you have to look at every single little detail because the way that the entertainment industry is right now, specifically with movies and things being remade into big live action series like One Piece, there's going to be a lot of room for scrutiny. And this show is going to be picked apart. It's going to be debated. It's going to be talked about not only leading up to watching that first episode, but years after. I mean, look at Dragon Ball Evolution. That was, Dragon Ball is a massive franchise and that movie is absolute garbage and people still talk about it today. There are a ton of live action series that people just have doubts about because it has never been really done properly. And not only with One Piece, but we're gonna get a live action Yu Haka show. We saw the announcement for the live action Cowboy Bebop and we got a live action Gundam series, which will probably be fine. It's a Gundam series, so no biggie there. But the live action genre is alive and vibing right now so it's something you're gonna have to get used to apparently this makes enough money to where they're going to keep doing it or i just missed the petition to stop doing this altogether <laughs> let me know what you guys think about live action adaptations of anime series this is going to be a huge one one piece like i said is a massive number two best-selling comic series of all time franchise so this is not to be taken lightly i do want to throw this in there we got the live action Pokemon movie a few years back, which by all accounts was pretty solid, pretty good. But that was Pokemon and this is One Piece. I'm not saying that it's always done wrong, but there have been a few instances where it's done pretty well. And we will see about this One Piece live action series coming out on Netflix, how it will do. Like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comment sections. I'm gonna get out of here. I will catch you next time. Peace.